Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most, Avery LR32 here, and destroy the ever-living boo-boo staying off of that like and subscribe button as we climb even further beyond the 1200 ladder. I want to do a market watch because I haven't done a market watch in quite some time, uh, and I figure that with this weekend or this current weekend, depending on whenever you're watching this, uh, obviously the North American WCQ is going on, so I figured it would be interesting to kind of take a snapshot of prices uh, before the event I guess gets through or even starts and then afterwards um, because this is a great time especially depending on like what the prices are sitting at right now going into the event and then compared to after the fact you know if you want to pick up cards like for a deck core or whatever and you want to get it on the cheap after nationals is always going to be your best bet you know this has been true for years now so you know keep your eyes on the market as we go through nationals this weekend because stuff is going to drop like a rock immediately after especially since konami uh yesterday on the 6th updated the regional locations for the duelist nexus season so if you've got regionals coming up you're going to want to get your stuff as cheap as you can so starting off here of course cash tira stuff you're looking at 10 bucks on theosis 33s on the fender is basically 34 those will probably drop a good bit ultis are 44s three dollars on the arise heart that's actually really good uh sevens on tier element cash tier and then everything else is pretty cheap dollar 75 for rise hearts that's that's nothing crazy a dollar 50 on unicorns god i remember when these things were 14 dollars. that's that's just bananas if i'm being honest i want to talk about the spiritual water art aoi or aoi whatever the fuck um the supers out of astral pack two are four dollars that's pretty hot and then they drop down all the way to eight cents so you can very easily get your hands on some cheap owies uh, if you want them. I mean, yeah, they're eight cents. Pick up a playset and you do you boo boo. It's it's. I mean, it's a good card. Like you know, you just have to have the right stuff for it. I want to take a snapshot here of amazing defenders. Um, of course, the fire hydrant stuff. Rescue ace is going to be expensive. You're looking at sixties on the collector rare for hydrants. Eighty twos, collectors rare purelys. Uh, yeah, of course, purely stuff is leading the charge. Um. 64s on the Makanko, 42s on the Noir, uh, 25 on the Collector's Rare Turbulence. And then you're looking at 18 for regular purely, 15 for Uhime's Manifesto Makanko's, uh, 8s for regular Turbulence's, 5s for Rescues. Remember that they are getting new support in uh, Duelist Nexus, 25 for regular Hydrants. Yeah, this uh, this set is actually pretty good. 50 bucks for boxes. You know, if you want to like possibly make some cash, I'd say, like, get a case of Amazing Defenders, 50 bucks a piece, and, like, just pull all the money cards. Like, that's that's actually pretty good, Sugar Boo Bear. Photon Hypernova, oh, wow, the Mirror Jades are just low. There Are these things really only $230? Get the fuck out of here. Wow, $230, and then they shoot up to $245. Wow. So, basically, grade, it's, like, what, three to $400? Uh, boxes are 58s. Wow. Uh... Pressure Planet 17s, okay. Sargas is fours. Big Welcomes are fours. Um, wow, this set's actually pretty cheap. Gravekeeper's Inscription is two dollars. That's actually really funny. Yeah, so like minus like the Starlights. Oh, and of course, thrusts are nearly eighty dollars. Oh my god, seven seventy nine, and then you slowly creep up to eighty. Yeah, no, you can kiss my ass proper. I'm not spending money on that. Maze of Memory. So, of course, Baron Collector's Rares are 148. Excel Seeker Stardust Collectors are 116. Boxes are 62s. Uh, regular Barons are 40s. These were 50s. Same with the Excel Seekers. They were 50s. Now they're down to 36s. It's actually pretty good. Teardrop Rika Collector's Rares are 40s. Uh, Guardian Chimeras are only 5s. That's not bad. Uh, Terahertz are 3s. That's pretty good. I mean, yeah, after Nats, I mean, I could easily see Excel Synchros being like 30 bucks, and you're going to want this and a Baron going into the new format because, yeah, Revolution Synchron is literally a revolution. Also, it's raining outside my window, so I do apologize for that. Wild Survivors, Vanquished Souls, Hungry Burger Collectors Rares, 43 bucks. Hell no. Um, boxes are 60s. Dinosaur stuff's leading the charge. Of course, Vanquished Soul crap is, uh, leading the charge in the price tag collector rare tankies are 27s um regular vanquish soul stuff's actually kind of expensive you're looking at 14s on the dr mad love 12 on the heavy burger burger whatever the hell uh what's what's page two looking like here two dollars for the kaiser valius 91 cents for the pentara yeah it's actually kind of expensive to be playing vanquish soul um, I also want to take a snapshot of Cyberstorm Axis, just see what's going on. Chaos Angels are nearly $70. Sweet baby Jesus. 
Uh, Peaceful Planet Calariums are 22s. Um, do keep in mind that Manadium does get more support in Dual <coughs> Nexus, excuse me. And I believe they also get more in Age of Overlord, which is our October set. Uh, vicious Astrods are 450s. If you need Vicious Astrods, get these like five minutes ago. That's really, really good. Time Tearing Morganites are twos. This is a nice little penny stock investment. Roller Ballers are fours. Ringworms are tens. Dear God. Dissipators are basically twelves. Good God. 54s for boxes, though. That's actually not terrible. Uh, let's see. I also wanted to pull up Monstrous Revenge because this is just the quarter century out the ass, the set. Dark Holes are 63s. Dark Arms are 55s. These are more than the Ghost Rares, bro. Oh, my God. 50s on the quarter century Water Enchantresses. 49s. Basically, $50 on the Quick Fixes. Uh, why? <laughs> like, no. Spiral's not doing anything this format. Um, he talks Hydra's 27. Duality is at, at eights. Honestly, like, I would pick these up at eights. Assault Synchron's at fives? Yeah, no, I would pick these up. You pick up three Duality, three Shadows Light, and three Assault Synchron, and like two Zeus's, and you're done with this set. Like, seriously, look at this. Shadows Light's $1.40. Something at some point. Oh, Super Poly's $1.92. There's a lot of good, like, couple dollar pickups in this set. IP Masquerade is at twos. Oh my god. Like, that's, bro, that is cheap. Like, that is cheap AF. Yeah, no, like, Shadows Light, Duality, Assault Synchron, pick up three of each and, like, just sit on them. If you want Zeus's, go for the Zeus's. It's a lot of cheap stuff in the set. Iblis, 50 cents. Secret Rare Dark Holes, 40 cents. Yeah, okay. Because we're going to be playing that table one. No. Um, Golden Rules, 50 cents. Okay. Uh, Draco Berserker's, 40 cents. And, you know, yeah, it, it falls off from here. Nine cents on the Dark Arms. Yeah, no, we're... We're, we're going away. I also want to pull up, like, just, like, the top high-end stuff in general. You're looking at 3500 for an original LOB booster box. This is Unlim. This isn't no first edition. Um, Asian English for 3300 No, we're not paying that. So, and Mint Green, 97.7%? No. So, basically, <laughs> so from someone reputable, at least on TCG Play, you're looking at $9,000 for Unlim 2002 Air sealed in the packs, legend of blue eyes i mean this could be the 25th anniversary ones in like 10 to 20 years but that's a long-term investment sugar boo bear uh in other news you're looking at a thousand dollars for ip mascarina starlights oh god the dual terminal rare neoses are bought out market price was a thousand dollars like why 847 for dueling dragon okay first edition packs of lob are nearly 500 dollars. i'd rather go touch grass and like no thank you uh, what else is going on here in the market? Like, dear God, retro pack, two box, three pack, $700. Like why? The Stardust Starlights are still 500 if you want to play like Synchro on the deck and lose to Nibiru uh, or an Ash Blossom on your Junk Speeder. <laughs> 540s on the Black Rose Starlights. I remember when I pulled this out of my Lightning Overdrive case. 483 is on the Prosperity Starlights. That's dropped a little bit, unless it's like a heavy play. Max C's, this card's never coming back, but people will preach to the moon above that it's going to be coming back. Heavy plays are 360s. Oh, God. Light plays are 420. Or, well, excuse me, 419 free shipping. It's 420. Um, Is there even a first set? Near Mint Unlim is 523. Ah, <laughs> uh, no. That, that card's never coming back. I would pay, honestly, like $300 for an ulti. That's as much as I would ever pay. Like, no, I'm not paying over $500. Absolute Power Force First Edition box is $500. Like, what is happening? I love, <laughs> it's kind of funny that I'm like, yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh is going to get cheap. But then we look at, like, all the collectible stuff. And it's like, hey, guys, this is expensive. Like, obviously, if you're not talking about, like, getting this high-end rarity stuff, stuff's going to get cheap. This type of stuff, like, won't really ever get cheap. It's just going to get more and more expensive over time. Like, a Dark Magician out of Dark Duel Stories, this isn't getting any cheaper anytime soon. Like, the market price is three fifty five, Unless you want one that someone sat on and farted on for $106. Uh, yeah, no, it, like, it's it's over $300. Yeah, no, I, I hate it here. Negate attacks out of the Duel Terminal are $500, $599, Why? Who's playing Negate Attack in 2023? I mean, I get that it's a collectible, but, like... No. Honestly, like, if I were to play Synchrons, hear me out. If I were to play Synchrons and you need the one of, just get the Ghost Rare. Like, no joke. The Unlims are 350s and the first Eds are 1600s. Damaged uh, Unlim is 125. Hit me, hit me with that light play. So, light play Unlim, uh, 244 for a one of in Synchrons. That's actually not terrible. Like, no one says you need the first edition. So, to have a one of Ghost Rare and Unlim at 244. 
Like, I would get that. I really would. Guys, let me know what you think about the market down in the comments below. Is there anything that you're keeping an eye on? Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.